Hi everybody, it's Ia Patsy. I am here to do the general reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the time period between now and the end of October 2018. So, we're using five card spread with the Archangel Power Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Ooh, okay. And we're also clarifying with the Vice Versa Tarot by Luninia Weatherstone. And at the end, we will be getting an oracle from the Until Today deck by Ayanna Van Zandt. So, hope everybody's doing well and enjoying the end of the summer, getting back to work and school. So let's go ahead with this reading. So, <laughs> Capricorn. First position here is what is uh, going on exterior to you, something outside of you. Something that has you concerned could be going on in the workplace or somewhere in the public arena, okay? So the first card here, Eight of Gabriel. So Gabriel is fire. So this could represent someone around you who is a fire sign, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And this talks about sudden actions, important communications, a lot of movement, and a lot of activity. And the card that came to clarify that was the Eight of Cups, right? So the movement, there's some swift movement going on around you. Could be that you are moving. Could be that you are changing jobs. It could be that you are walking away from a relationship, okay? But you're headed towards something that's bright, something that makes you feel, excuse me, makes you feel whole, again, something that makes you feel whole, something that is happening for you very, very quickly. Second position here for you, Capricorn, is for Raphael. So this is what's going on inside of you or in your home, all right? This is talking about choices, possibilities, all right? Being, being, um, being aware of your own emotions. Maybe you're confused, not sure what to do telling you to look for the magic in your life. The card that came to clarify that was the lovers. So this is saying to me that you are making a choice to move out of a relationship to a newer, something different, all right, because you're looking to restore the magic in your life, the magic in your love life. You want a relationship with someone, you're moving towards relationship with someone that you feel a lot of passion for, that you think that you can grow with, someone who is your opposite, but someone who you trust someone who will be taking off their mask, all right? Someone who will be taking off their mask. Someone that will be, that will feel, someone that you feel safe enough with and that you have enough passion for, that you'll be able to let down your guard. Okay, so third position here is what you haven't, what you're not expecting. 
and this was the seven of Raphael. So the four of Raphael, talking about water, emotions, feelings. Seven of Raphael, again, time to make a decision. Time to de detoxify yourself. So there may have been some toxic energies going on in your home or in your workplace or in the previous, previous relationship. Something around you may have been toxic and so you are ready to move on to something that you feel would have, would be more healing and um, something that is more suitable, a relationship that's more suitable for you. And it's time for you to make that decision. And that's clarified by the Eight of Swords. So you feel stuck. You want to make a decision. You want to move. You're not sure. You're, you feel like you're stuck. You're not really stuck. But you would, it would do you well to look at this from a different perspective. Not so much emotions, but more of the truth. You need to stop making decisions based on your emotions because that is what's getting you, keeping you stuck. You need to make decisions based on what you know. Looking at things from a different perspective. Next card in the um, reading is your role in all of this is the Knight of Raphael. So again, this is a Knight of Cups, like that kind of energy. This talks about a commitment, a situation that's making your heart flutter sweeping someone off their feet or you being swept off your feet <laughs> and that is covered by two cards the hangman and the hermit so this is telling me that after a lot after looking at things from a different perspective and a lot of soul searching weighing your options you decided to go ahead and make a move towards love. So you're going to offer someone love or someone is offering you love. And this could be anyone who's a water sign. Uh, would would be uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And since you have three of the Raphaels, that could indicate that either you or the person that you're interested in may be a water sign. Okay, Capricorn. So the outcome is four of Michael. All right. So this is like uh, four of swords, right? So this is like uh, contemplating, resting, doing a lot of meditation, a lot of praying. All right. You want to get rid of the stress and you've been manifesting and you've been praying, you've been meditating and that's covered by the nine of cups. So nine of cups talks about your wishes being fulfilled, right? But <clears throat> This person here, he has all his cups, but he looks, he's by himself. He's, he's alone, but he seems to be comfortable, seems to have abundance. So, saying to me that once you get some clarity, 
after you rest, okay, and pray and meditate about the situation, that you will find your abundance, you will find that your wishes are being fulfilled. And this card on this side You will get what you wish for, but you need to be careful. Don't squander what you wish for. Trying to make this something that is going to be lasting, not fleeting. So once you get your wish fulfilled, once you make this movement after you've contemplated and studied and whatever, you're going to get some insight and you're being advised to make sure that you um, are careful with this abundance, with this relationship, with this wealth. So if you're moving, if you're moving to a new job, once you start making your money or whatever, don't squander it. Be careful, save, put some aside for a rainy day. If this is a love relationship, Think of saying not to get cocky once you achieve your goal. So once you've straightened out this situation and you have gotten this love, be careful with it. Precious. It's precious. It's precious. It's okay. All right. It's precious. Be gentle with it. It's precious. Treasure it. Take care of it. Don't get complacent. Don't get complacent. Don't rest on your laurels. Okay. You found that you wanted to do something. You did it. It worked out perfectly, even after the long struggle. And it's saying, don't forget to be grateful. Don't forget to continue meditating, manifesting, praying, doing your work. Don't get complacent in your abundance. Okay, so let's see what we can get from the Iyana Van Zandt until today deck in reference to this reading for Capricorn. And these energies are good from now until the end of October. Okay, so for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in reference to their the time period between now and the end of October 2018. When I withhold the truth of who I am, I cannot receive the truth of what I want. So, this goes back to making clear decisions so that you can stop feeling stuck. Until today, you may not have realized that the thing you want is the thing that you most resist. Just for today, be willing to be honest about who you are, what you feel, and what you want in every situation. So, making a decision, after you've checked out all the possibilities, Being clear about what you want and who you are. And letting this decision that you make about this new getting unstuck, okay, and heading towards sweeping somebody off their feet or being swept off your feet, this new love that is coming towards you.
something that you have achieved, but you have to be honest with yourself about what it is that you want and honest with whoever it is that you're dealing with about exactly who you are and what you expect. Be clear about what it is that you expect from this relationship. Be clear with yourself and be clear with the partner. If this is about a job, know what your talents are. Know what it is that you bring to the table. Okay. So that know what you bring to the table. Do the work with you know from your authentic self. Because I'm thinking that the more that you show who you are, the more you'll get what you want. And the reason that you may be stuck sometimes in these situations is because you are not, you're trying to please other people rather than please yourself, is what I was just told. And it's time for you to make decisions that are in your best interest. And don't worry about how it's going to affect the other people. Do what is right for you. So Capricorn, I hope that this message resonated with you. Um, this will be good, like I said, until the end of October. And you will also get your um, October Love Bite soon. And the readings for September are all already up so this is short but that's good because I got lots to do and I've uploaded a lot of uh, new content there are um, live streams for talking to heaven cards um, there's a divine feminine video which is actually me giving myself readings um, regarding my continuing journey the twin flame journey and the divine feminine journey. So you might want to check that out. And in those videos, there are two of them up so far. And I'm referring to this new deck, uh, the Isis Oracle. And that's by Alanya Fairchild and lots of lessons. So um, I would recommend if you're on the divine feminine journey, that that might be an oracle that you might want to look into. So if you check out the videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. And if it's something that interests you, I don't have any, you know, stake, stake in that. I don't know anything about the company, but um, those messages are great. Okay, so that's what we have for you today. And I hope that it resonates. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Thank you all so much for your likes and your subscriptions and your uh, comments and I just I'm loving it and uh, those of you who have requested uh, readings and also made donations through my PayPal account I appreciate it if you're interested in a personal lies reading you can send an email to pbtarot7 at gmail.com and I will be getting back to you as soon as I'm done with all of these readings and the uh, other personal readings that I already have in the queue. So I will talk to everybody real soon. Thank you so much for watching. And like I said, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Invite someone to, to subscribe. And if these messages don't resonate with you, they may resonate with someone else who's a cancer. And that's the whole idea is to get these messages out and share them with one another. So I'll be talking to you real soon. Like I said, check out the other content. You might enjoy it. I actually just did a video right before this one about Natalie Wood's um, murder mystery. Interesting. Check it out. Okay, everybody. I'll be talking to you all soon. Love you so much. Namaste. Peace.